Hello everyone! Today we'll be drawing using Procreate. Recently I went to my hair salon and my hairdresser asked me to draw pictures of new shampoo and I was like sure. So today I've decided to draw this picture. It's a hair salon located in the area called Omote Sando, which is a fancy looking place and their Instagram feed is always filled with a selection of modern and trending girls. Apparently, my hairdresser wants to give a thank you card to her customers who buy her shampoo and that's why she wants me to roughly draw some images of the shampoo, so today I'd like to show you how to draw them. In this tutorial, we'll be using various types of brushes. I will put a link to the brush set I will be using in the description box, so if you plan on drawing something like this, feel free to check it out. Okay, I'll start as usual. Click on the plus button at the top right and select the custom size. We will be using a 91 x 55mm canvas used for business cards and we'll be zooming in 4 times to draw. Open split view on the right side and we'll be loading this image for this tutorial. Use the arrow button in the top left corner to adjust the size. I suggest trimming the images a bit bigger. Place the image around here, and I also made a copy of the image for backup. Now I will start erasing parts of the picture that I won't be using in this tutorial. I only need a shampoo bottle, so I'm just going to go ahead and erase the gray area here. So since my hair just asked me to draw them roughly, I was just going to lightly trace the image and color it. But as I was working on it, I started to find it really fun doing it and I ended up working on it for a long time. So this video is a bit longer than I thought it would be, but I hope you guys watch this as a tutorial on how to draw these images. Like this, once the first preparation is done, we will be outlining the image. First, decrease the opacity of the image to around 10%. I'll be adding another layer on top of this and tracing it using a pencil brush. And about the pencil brush I'm using right now, I alternate between the 6B brush in the default brushes and an HB rough draft brush that I customized myself to outline this image. Once you are able to make a rough draft, hide the image layer for now because we will be starting to draw our final draft using a line pen. Then decrease the opacity of the rough sketch and add a new layer to start drawing the final draft. The line pen used here is actually another one of my customized line pen called the dark line pen. I can adjust the pen pressure or any shaking lines in the drawing, but this is a really nice pen that I can draw smooth curves with. I usually use this to draw lines or to make line art. Like this, by making the pressure with your pen stronger or weaker, the lines seem like I hand drew them. It's really useful because it looks like ink, but the lines are also very smooth. But for today, we'll be using this pen to trace the outline.
Just like this, the outline is finished. Next, we'll be making the labels. I got images of the logo, so I'll be loading that to the app. Yeah, this is the logo. Since it's pink data, the background is transparent. To be honest, I've adjusted the pen's thickness based on this logo, since the logo itself looks like it was drawn using an ink pen. I drew the outline of the bottle while adjusting the pen pressure and thickness so that it goes well with the logo design. I didn't like the shape of the shampoo bottle a little, so I click on adjust, then skew. Then click on push and start adjusting the shape. By outlining the area you like to straighten up, you can change the shape freely. Just be careful not to use it too much because or else it will turn out weird but for minor adjustments like this, this is a very useful tool. Next is the font on the label. I like to outline the area that says ways. Unhide the original image, and I'll start drawing the logo on the top layer. The outline of the shampoo bottle is complete, so I'll group it up to make copies. Swipe left to make a copy, and you will copy the entire drawing. Then relocate the image, and add minor adjustments. Once you're done with this step, start coloring the image. To color the illustration, add a new layer because you'll be coloring that layer. Bring the new layer you just added. Below the layer with the black sketches, outline the shampoo bottle. If you bring a new layer above the outline, the outline will disappear, so please be careful. Now you get the color and start coloring the bottle. But before that, we'll color in the white parts before coloring the yellow part. Now we'll start coloring in the yellow part. The brush I'm using is called Water Effect. And I also customize this brush myself. If you are wondering what the brush is like, it's like acrylic paint with more water. And about this illustration, well, I wasn't originally going to go to the town, and I wanted to make the drawing a little effortless, so I used the Water Effect brush. There is a watercolor brush available, but that one is not quite the same as this. I change how it looks when you add more strokes or different levels of opacity based on the pen pressure. I basically treasure this brush for when I want to make a quick illustration like this. I wanted to swap the shampoo and treatment locations, so I used the transport tool to swap them. I wanted to put the treatment button on the left and make the shampoo button as the main feature of the illustration, so I'm moving the color section like this. I think digital art is really nice because you can do things like this, 
and you can do it once you learn how to use the transport tool. Another thing that I want to change is the color on the shampoo bottle. I wanted the yellow to have a softer impression, so I went on the adjustment panel and tweaked the hue and saturation levels. Just like this. And lastly, for the last step for coloring, I'll be coloring the cap gray. Once you're finished coloring, you add in some text. I wanted to handwrite the text, but I'm not really good at calligraphy. So I want to use the text feature, which was just implemented recently, to make calligraphy design like this time. Lastly, once you reach this point, I want to add some borders on the card. You'll be adding another layer on top, and we'll use a dark line pencil to draw it. But before you start, I want to show you some tips on how to draw them. If you draw a nice straight line, you first throw in any color with your choice like this. Then use the selection tool or the transport tool that looks like an arrow and shrink the color box like this. Adjust the size and decrease the opacity of, in this case, the pink layer, just so that you can see a little bit of the color. Then add another new layer on top of that and you'll start drawing the line using a line pencil. If you outline the rim of the box, you can draw a clean straight line. This is the final product. This is made in a business card size canvas, and it will be quite small, so I made a pretty simple design. When you want to export your design, there is an option called PSD Export that simply lets you send it to your Mac, and it will open the Photoshop style file. You could adjust the size and anything else there. I want to upload it already, but I don't think it's ready yet, as I always brush up my images on my Mac. But I want to end my tutorial here. As for the brushes used in this tutorial today, check out the description box. As you can see the details there, so feel free to check it out. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I make a variety of tutorials using Procreate and other apps on how to draw really cool pictures like this, so I'll be really happy if you subscribe to my channel. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye!